what's up y'all it's your boy wrong good good promo we back today i want to show love to shikari richardson she doing her thing she a gold medalist and i just wanted to help shine a light on her she deserve it shikari richardson is an american track and field sprinter who competes in the 100 meters and 200 meters richardson attended louisiana state university in 2019 as a freshman that's when the light started getting shined on her she ran a 10 point 75 seconds to break the 100 meter collegiate record at the NCAA Division Championships in 2019. That made her one of the 10 fastest women in history at 19 years old. Fast forward, she qualified for the 2020 Summer Olympics after winning the women's 100 meter dash with 10.86 in the United States Olympic trials. She doing her thing, she true to herself. She liked to wear her nails. She liked for her hair to stand out. So she's always talked about, but she puts in the work and is respected. Shikari's getting a lot of love on her rise to stardom. And then July 1st, 2020, it was reported that Richardson had tested positive for cannabis use following her 100 meter final at the U.S. trials and validating her win and making her ineligible to compete in the 100 meters at the Olympics. So once she got tested positive for using cannabis, the world went crazy on her. She's a young lady at the time. I believe she was 20 years old. And yeah, she is star. And it seemed like everybody wanted to cancel Shikari Richardson. But at the same time, this young lady was dealing with something. And you can't really tell people how to cope with the loss of a loved one. She's 20 years old and she never backed down from it. You know, once she tested positive, you know, she admitted that she made a mistake. And that she would deal with the consequences. Everything's going your way. You got the world with you. But as soon as you mess up, you got all the critics and the naysayers pointing their fingers like they're perfect. Nobody's perfect. And luckily, her mistake wasn't that bad. Some mistakes are more severe than others, and there's no coming back from it. When she got in trouble for the cannabis use, I seen all the things online, all the negative things, all the people bashing her, wanting to cancel her. Ah, uh, how I look at her. And um, I didn't say nothing. I just sat back. But now, you know, just seeing her turn around and seeing her winning, and I got to celebrate that, you know what I'm saying? Because we can't cancel people and turn our backs on them. We got to be there for them. We got to support them. We got to provide help for them. You know what I'm saying? Especially this young lady. She's 23. She's still young. She got a long way to go. And now you fast forward. Richardson has won the goal in the 100 meter at the 2023 World Championships. About to meet the women for the 100 final. Keep this in mind. U.S. women haven't won a medal at World Championships in this event since 2017 when the late Tori Bowie won her world title. This has been a long time coming for the 23-year-old Shakari Richardson. She has to start better than she started in the semifinal. Look, like an NFL defensive back, you have to have a short memory in this business. Okay, the semifinal didn't go well. You are capable of winning this race. She has to... As you can see, she came out with that look in her eye. She came to win. And you heard them. The U.S. women, they haven't won since 2017. So shout out to Shakari Richardson. We proud of you. You did your thing. You showed up and you showed out. And I just want to give her a round of applause and say thank you and keep doing your thing. Keep being you. Keep being unapologetic. And there's young ladies that look up to her. So I want her to keep doing her thing. I want her to keep winning. I want her to keep representing. I appreciate you tuning in and watching. It's your boy, Rome Good. I'm on y'all next time. Peace.